Hello and welcome to game 13. We're going up against Aston Villa, so we're going to be playing them in a second. First of all, we're listening to Amon Amrath, Deceiver of God's album. So enjoy the music and enjoy the video. The man of the moment. What a fabulous start to the season for him. Does he have more goals in his future? Stay with us. Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Aston Villa, and they take on Rovers. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, how can you stop him? If you get too tight, he'll use the space behind you, drop off, and he'll turn and run at you. Add that to his movement in the box, and you can see why he scored so many goals. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Well, it's a 4 3 3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And here's the starting lineup for Rovers. <laughs> And the game begins. On and on he goes. Can he take advantage? Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. The Kate Delare. Rob them. And we have a goal to update you on in the Brentford game. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Palace. It's now 1 0 with six minutes play. Alex keeping us right up to date. This looks threatening. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Now back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next.
Difficult to stop him. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Well, as we look at the table, the visitors have been dazzling us with their attractive brand of football, playing to their potential and then some, Stuart. Well, it may have surprised a lot of people, but when you see them play, you understand why they're top of the table. They defend well as a team, they win the ball back in good areas, and they look dangerous. Suchek. But attacking possibilities. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Well, the free kick fired too close to the goalkeeper. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. So, 2-0 now. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Well, the referee won't be quite as lenient next time. Got to tread more carefully. He goes short. High quality defending. Can they get in behind them? Good looking ball. Well, couldn't bend his run, and the flag went up. Nemanja Maksimovic. Excellent challenge. Arambari. Can they trouble the opposition this time? And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Could be a chance to break here. Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? Great opportunity! A goal! And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here. Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. Now continuing with the game, and Rovers sprinting away, looking oh so comfortable. Vergara. This is looking threatening. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Can he take the chance? And thumped away. Emiliano Buendia. Can they hit on the break? 
Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. And flag raised, offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. And they've given him too much space. It's there for him. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. Blistering first-half display, and just look at that score. First half here comes to an end. And the game begins. again with Rovers very much on top here. Will we see more of the same in the second half? And he's in. Was it the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? If so, he's off. And it was always going to be crystal clear for the referee in terms of the decision. Well, he had to make a tackle, didn't he? Unfortunately, it wasn't a good one. Time for a change then. Too close to the goalkeeper. Arambari. Good tackle. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Aston Villa facing West Ham United. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Vergara. Maksimovic has it. He's got the right idea with that pass. Well, now in a dangerous position. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Team effort, good piece of covering. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Good looking sequence. And he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Nemanja Maximovic wanted to keep it but couldn't. More live football to come. A little note about a future game with us here on EA TV. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy. And that is going to be a free kick. So a personnel change then. And they deal with the threat this time. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. And it's 
a quality pass. Well, the cross needed to be better than that one. And there is the goal! He's found the net! Joy unconfined! A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. Well, that piece of play is very easy on the eye. Oh, he's through here! Oh, wonder goal! Right out of the top drawer! Who could do better than that? Well, as you can see, it's an error from the goalkeeper. You just can't split it into a dangerous area like that. a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now going well it certainly wasn't a clean tackle and the referee has got to book him I think is a yellow card and it seems to be a problem of discipline here Stuart this is getting out of control they've got to refocus here and get their composure back He'll be a bit cross with himself based on that free kick. Not the execution he was looking for. Terrific block. Well, they've lost the ball. And he's got the beating of his opponent. Will it be? Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Ten minutes left for play. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Well, a goal to let you know about in the Bradford game. Here's Alex Scott. It's a goal from Palace. It was a nice one-two, and then he coolly slotted it around the goalkeeper. It's now 2-1 with 83 minutes on the clock. Many thanks as ever, Alex. They've got it now, what can they do? Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Mauro Arambari. Now can they counter clinically? Happy to take on the shot. 
Oh, a smart stop. Well read to win possession back. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today. Well, they put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals. because he was back then. Now he's gone back up. <laughs> Let's have him get more morale. No, no more morale. No further questions. Thanks so much. Right, we've got Brentford next over here. Okay. I'm going to look where I start the uh, game with Greece since I've become international manager. He won't be sold. They don't ever get sold. Because <laughs> two high wages. Right, let's have a look in the calendar before I uh, end the video. I've got Brentford next. So then tomorrow I've got Liverpool, Gala, Leicester. Where is the Greece stuff? <laughs> oh, there, March. Norway and Poland at the same time. Awesome. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I've got March. Where are we now? February. Uh, December. Yeah, we're in December. Okay. Seventeen games roughly, and then I'm at the uh, international. Well, that's a friendly. That's a friendly. Okay, so they're both international friendlies. Interesting. Um, can I? Aha! There we go. International call up. Right. Let's get this team up and running. Hmm. 30 years of age, okay. Right, who have we got then? Hmm. That is the best team we've got. According to the uh, teams. Okay, okay, Grace Road four star team, that's fine. I'll, I'll submit that for now. Right, so I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, hit that bell for notifications, and Brentford will be up after this. And until then, I'll see you all again. Goodbye.